So we do lots of shows up here for certain events, um, which is super fun. And this is like our bookshelf. So all of the kids' books that they like to read and activities and learning things like that. We just figured out how to make it work and it does work. Hi. <laughs> Hi. We're Shane and Emily, Juno Sawyer, also known as Arbor Season. Come check out our home. Let's go. Welcome to our kitchen. We have this double sink here because we like to wash dishes on one side and dry them on the other side. It just saves a lot of space. Um, we have lots of cabinets up here. Most people do shelving in their kitchen, but I really like coffee mugs, so I needed a little bit more space. So we've got like coffee grinder, smoothie maker, you name it. I, I want to have all of the things, but I want it to be out of sight. So that's how we make it work. This is where we keep like coffee, tea, um, our little like pour over and stuff. It's like a weird nook and some people don't like nooks and some people think that this is the best thing in the world. I think it's really cute. And this is our stove and oven combination. I got this on Facebook Marketplace for like 150 bucks and it's from an old RV. And I bought this one specifically because it has four burners. And a lot of times RV stoves only have like three and I cook like three meals a day in here. So I really like to use this. The one thing that I would do differently is if I could find a really energy efficient electric stove and oven, I would love to not have to deal with propane in our bus at all just because I'm a worry wart and I think about it at night while I'm laying in bed sometimes. That's the one thing, the one thing I would change about our kitchen. Um, I love our fridge because it's like a full size fridge and freezer. So with two, sometimes three adults and two small children, we like eat a lot of food and I don't want to go to the grocery store more than once a week. So this thing only runs on 1.5 amps, which is awesome. Super energy efficient. I mean, it barely uses anything. We have lithium batteries, like 500 amp hours right now. So this is really great. Um, and then this is actually new. We have these two cabinets here. We used to keep our fresh drinking water in here, but um, we have a Berkey now, which is awesome. So we don't have to do that. So we actually have all of our um, lithium batteries like under here and in here. Um, we just got five more of them and they did not all fit in one spot. So we actually had to move our pots and pans from under here to one of those bench seats over there, but we're making it work. Um, but we also have a diesel heater under here that vents out right there. Um, and that's our second diesel. This is our main one. Like we use this one the most cause it's right in the middle, but we have two others in here as backups because you just never know when they're going to break. And we like to travel in the winter in cold places cause we love the cold. So we like to be prepared. So this is my pantry. So I keep all of my like dry goods, potatoes, rice, pasta, canned things all in here. And this is our, um, our map. So we have two different colored pins. I believe the white ones are where we've been and the brown ones are where we're still going, but I'm looking at this and it's very inaccurate. And so now I'm thinking that at least one of our children has moved the pins around. So it just looks really cool. <laughs> um, and this is our TV. You just got to watch out, try not to like hit your head or your shoulder on it. We do it all the time. <laughs> we don't watch a ton of TV, but man, I tell you, it is really nice to have around sometimes if I'm like trying to make dinner, you've got a rainy day and it's cold and the kids don't want to play outside. And it's just nice to all have a little movie night in the living room together. So, uh, we also have storage under our couch. This is like our catch all. Wow. Oh my gosh. We keep like our board games in here and like our screens for our windows and stuff like that. It's just nice to have a space where you can put those things that don't have a specific place. Um, we also have like a little storage cabinet. This is the newest thing that we've built here. Um, there was just like a weird gap in between the couch and the chair. And so Shane just closed that in and it's like a little armrest. We can put our drinks there. I keep my shopping bags in there. And we also have a diesel heater there that kind of like keeps the front really warm and cozy. Someday, if we ever build another bus, I would love to have the kitchen be like its own room kind of mostly so that I could like shut a door and keep everyone out of it while I cook. That would be really sweet. Also right now, when I wash the dishes, if someone's sitting on the couch, then your butt's in their face and it's kind of weird, but that's just what happens when you live in a bus.
We were inspired to live this life because we're traveling musicians. So for since 2015, we did the RV for four years and then this bus has almost been at the four year mark now. Um, but yeah, we travel playing universities, house concerts, theme parks, and we needed something to live in because we were not gonna pay rent for a place we're never at. We weren't gonna do it. We were each living in separate apartments, paying separate rent, and we were literally never home, especially once we started traveling a lot. So RV came first, and then once COVID happened, we were stuck at my sister's house in my hometown in Missouri, and it was just like, the timing was right. You know, we found this bus, he found this bus on Facebook Marketplace. It was a great price, and we were like, this is crazy, but this is the only time we're gonna be in one spot with no shows for like, who knows how long. It's the only time we could really do something like this. So we just went for it with no prior knowledge whatsoever. <laughs> yes. yes, Yeah. we've learned a lot. Yeah, you have. I haven't built anything. I just learned how to decorate. This is the bathing zone. I just dubbed it that. This is the bathing zone. Um, so we have a bathtub that was just a $30 galvanized steel tub from Tractor Supply Company. And it's really nice to have a bathtub because of the kids. Um, a lot of people bathe their kids in sinks and I did that when they were really little, but our almost five-year-old despises showers like so much. And it's really nice that they can just take a bath in here or if I need to like, have some spa time I can just like soak my feet and we kept the window in here because it's like the light and there's something about an open air shower like when you open the window and the breeze is blowing in it's just really magical so this is our bathroom washroom if you're Canadian that's really important we use the composting toilet that the nature's head because it is awesome it never smells we love it uh, we've had this thing for about three years now so we know we like it um, and then over here we have our sink and uh, all of our water comes from our 48 gallon water tank, which is under our couch in our living room. We found this little farmhouse light uh, for like $5 at a yard sale. I was like, score, that was awesome. And then this wood is super inexpensive at Walmart. It's like just over $2 a board for like an eight foot board. And I use that for everything. This is the kid's domain. Our son is almost five and this is his bed. And um, we kind of just like keep, this is like my random toys that technically have their own specific spot. But at the end of the day, I just sort of like throw them on the bed and then put them all away in the morning, um, which is in here. This is where all of the toys go. Um, and this is like our bookshelf. So all of the kids books that they like to read and activities and learning things like that. Um, this is Juno's bed. She's two and a half. And this is like our newest addition. We just built all of this in February because she was co-sleeping with us. And then she got to the age where it was time to move on to her own spot. This is the ladder that Juno climbs on to get into her bed. And it's just built onto like the door of the closet. So it locks shut, so it's really solid. And um, yeah, she can climb up like a champ, up and down, no problem. So this was one of my like number one requests when we were building a bus. I was like, I want wall to wall mattress. There's just something so cozy about it. It's like our little nook. And like, this is my side of the bed. And so I just kind of like curl up over here and it's just really cozy. And we also have storage back here we probably have too much clothing, but I really like clothes. And there were certain aspects of my previous lifestyle that I didn't want to completely give up when I moved into tiny living. So we just figured out how to make it work and it does work. Um, but we do have storage under our bed here too. We keep our projector under there. I have like vacuum bags with like our winter coats. So in the summer, we just kind of like collapse those down, put them under there, extra fans. All, all of the extra things that you do actually use just in different seasons. That's kind of like our all season storage. So most of our clothes are stored here. Um, Shane and I keep like all of our basic like shirts and pants and our laundry just goes right under here. Um, I also have a sick bolo tie collection that I just hang off of this light here. It's really fun. Um, and our daughter's clothes are all up here. So like pajamas and sweaters, tops and dresses, pants, 
diapers all go over here and then we even have a basket down here for like extra kids shoes and apparently my slippers that I've been looking for. I found them. <laughs> <laughs> So we traveled for like three years full time without having kids and now five years with having kids and I think it's way better. It's way more fun. It gives you more, it's like a whole new world of things to explore, to see, uh, to experience. And like our kids just like, they point out things about life that we normally wouldn't notice, you know? They, and they also fight sometimes and we try to deal with those, you know? Before we had kids, it's like, we would do things, but we could just like stay inside all day, sit in a coffee shop, whatever. But with the kids, it's like, okay, we have to like make sure that we're getting out and experiencing as much as possible because we want them to see it and we don't want them to grow up in a bus all the time, you know? So even in winter, like we go, we'll run around the mall. They usually have indoor playgrounds. Yeah. We like to teach them to be okay with playing outside even when the weather isn't great because I think that's really good, um, like a good thing to learn just as a human, you know? You don't wanna think that you can only have fun when the conditions are perfect. So it's cool because it forces us to do that. We don't have a big house that we can hide in when it's raining. Like, yep. I'm like, it's raining outside, but it's warm enough that you're not gonna get hypothermia. Go splash in some puddles. So this is our front yard, side yard. When people come by, when we're parked at like Walmart and stuff, we're able to say, hey, get off my property. And they look at us like, this isn't your property. We say, well, anyway. So we have a side table, so you could do like food outside. I can work on emails outside if I don't wanna be inside. Um, Zipd, we got sponsored by these guys. They have the coolest chairs ever on the planet. And um, yeah, they just fold down and go right inside those compartments over there. And we have a little outlet on the outside. That's really new. This is our back deck. This is where we do absolutely nothing on here. Um, people say, hey, you should play your shows and concerts up here, but our stuff can't fit up here. But it's really actually great. Okay, we do use it for one thing. For whenever we play shows on top of our roof deck, I load everything up here first, then I jump up here, and then I load it up onto here, and then I climb up the bus, and I grab it from up here and pull it on the roof. So that's how we get our really big stuff up there. Unicycle, I try to unicycle six miles a day, um, or at least I used to, I need to get back into it again. But that's what this guy's for, it's a mountain unicycle. We get stickers everywhere we go, from friends, uh, restaurants that we play at, coffee shops. Um, that's one of our favorite things that we have. Back here is our bed, uh, up top, and then storage on the bottom. And so this is really cool because uh, things that we can't fit in our side compartments, we put in here, so like our keyboard, our generator, which we really don't have to use anymore because of our solar, um, but it's, just, it's there just in case. Um, strollers, things like that. Everything goes under there. All right, so this is our rooftop deck um, slash stage. So we do lots of shows up here for certain events, um, which is super fun. So up here we do that. We obviously the whole stargazing thing. My son is obsessed with the solar system. So he loves looking at the stars and then he'll take out the night sky app and like, find all the stars up here, it's awesome. I haven't ventured sleeping up here yet because I feel like that'd be a very terrible life choice if I fell off, you know, in the middle of the night. That would really suck, but I'm still thinking about it. Uh, so we use Battleborn batteries because we think they are the best and they're awesome, we love those people. And uh, so we have uh, 1,000 amp hours of batteries. So that's 10 100 amp hour batteries. And then with the watts on the roof, each panel is 400, and 50 watts, 450 times four, whatever that is, that's what that is. And that's way more than enough than what we need to live in this thing. So usually by 10 a.m. or 11 a.m., we're fully charged. So it's, it's awesome. We are Arbor Season. 
A R B O U R. Don't forget that U, because he's Canadian. Do it. Okay. It's the pretentious U. Well, if you want to follow our adventures, we've got a lot of crazy stuff going on all the time. So we've got YouTube, Instagram, Patreon, um, Spotify. You can listen to all of our music on there, and Apple Music, wherever there's like music streaming, you can find it. We get 0.0004 cents every time you stream our song, so. Listen to it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're grateful that you stopped by to check out this video. Bye, everybody.